What's up guys, we are at Ladoga, and you know I love Ladoga, if you've ever seen me before. If you're a subscriber, you know I love Ladoga, and if you're not, come on, what you doing? Um, so today we are going to, I am going to show you something that I found, a place that I found here in Ladoga, so you see where we are, we're just right by the entrance. You just walk to the cafe and boom, here. You set up your rods. I'm going to show you what I have here. So simple float fishing with worms. So we are like back to the basics, fishing from the pier with worms. Nothing fancy. I have a 6.4 liter on this and on rod number 2 with the same thing. Uh, size 16 hooks. Oh, there's a fish. I got it. I got it. Small bends. Um, on rod number 3, over here, I have a little bit of a different setup because this one is... Uh, this is the starter rod that you start with in the in the game, so this cannot hold a six kilo liter, only a three point one. Otherwise, it would snap in half. Uh, so that's what I have there, and because of that, I have a little bit of a smaller hook to get the bigger fish away, and uh, that way we stay safe. We managed to keep that rod, and I do fish with it, with it uh, quite a lot. Every time that I uh, do some uh, float fishing, that rod is out, so we have to keep it safe. And uh, so, smaller leaders or weaker leaders are the way to go, because if something breaks, we want it to be the leader. Okay, look fish here do that little dance so you have a lot of time to switch between rods there's no currents here so that's perfectly fine and after we take this uh, this fish out of the water I'm gonna show you why I'm here and why I'm liking this place it's not because of vendors so these are not very cool I don't like those much small they don't go for a lot of money here's what I do like let's look at this ah, wrong key. look at this grayling so much grayling we get so much Grailing with worms at this place. And this is a big boy. Well, big for float fishing. I didn't even knew that we could uh, float fish for grailing. Uh, apparently you can you can very successful because if you look here, telescopic rods, weekly and now we search for graylings gray 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 graylings and this is all regions by the way look that's me that's that fish that i just show you it's here okay so this is me from the future uh, because i have to make a cut here uh, because i didn't realize when i was recording this that if i go to other region and weekly look at this this is how much this technique is working right now because only one of the ones on the, the list is not me and I'm going to solve this. <laughs> I'm going to solve this part. Um, and also on other region, if I go up a little bit, the roach is actually, look, it's actually the top. So I'm doing better uh, on this than I thought and so I had to make a small cut and now back to the live and apparently people uh, have been cutting with 
with mayfly larva but i gotta tell you that i tried mayfly larva here and uh, everything that you catch is a roach uh and large roach that's the at least that it's large roach because look at this huh i'm here too i got a trophy roach with the uh, mayfly larva um float fishing yes i did yes i did look at it common roach where is it there so i was trying mayfly larva also see if it worked for grayling it does did not work for grayling at all in this place it did work for a ton of roach um these small ones are not with that but these ones were with that um so good trophy roach and during the night the bite rate is very very slow um if i change this to mayfly larva the bite rate could go up immediately there's one here the bite rate goes up immediately with mayfly larva but it's uh, mostly roach so if you want to go for uh, the graylings keep the worms keep the small hooks and uh, the graylings do come out and here's the good part let's since we are very good very close to shore first of all there's uh, frequently orders for uh, grayling gear but even if there's not grayling especially the big ones they sell for a pretty good penny so for float fishing completely not stressful um let's see look how long is this i think this is less than an hour yeah it's one hour but i just sold some in the cafe so 130 by is you don't you don't get uh wear on your gear you don't stress out you just like go there and pick a bunch of fish okay so now you know how to float fish for uh, grayling um, and how to get on the record sheet uh, do the same for roach if you want with mayfly larva and uh, until next time it was great talking to you and uh, so long and thanks for all the fish